Hello everybody and good day to you all. Today I'm talking about DC Legend of Tomorrow, season number 5, episode number 6, Mortal Kombat. The episode is directed by Katie Lutz. Uh -huh. In this episode here, we got Ava still leading the team because um Sarah had to go off to, to fight Leprechaun or something. I'm not sure I'm not sure what she was doing. But she, she's off somewhere directing the episode. So she can't be on the show too. So um so she's so she's directing the episode. You got Ava, you got um Nate, you got um Barad and you got Zori and you got Charlie out there trying to pretty much capture Genghis Khan. So Genghis Khan is I think I think this is what is the eighties or the nineties? I think it's I think it's somewhere in the nineties. And Genghis Khan is there and he has he he has um a, a he has he, he, he living in the modern in the modern world. He knows how to ride a bike, a, a motorcycle. I don't know how you figured that out. And he has this gang and he's trying to take over the triads so he can take over the world. Now, I don't think that, that see, the world has changed since then. I, I, I won't be possible for him to do that anymore. But that's his, that's his plan. That's what he wants to do. He wants to conquer everything. So, for first thing he wants to do is take over the triads. But they got to bring Khan back and bring, put him back in his regular time. And so they got a little a little funny craziness going on there. Because you, you, you end up with Khan on a scooter, which makes no sort of sense at all. This show is so silly and so goofy that it, 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 even though I, I'm happy that it knows, it's self aware of itself, so it just goes along with it. You just got to say, you know what? Have fun. Just read how crazy it is. Man, how goofy it is. I mean, you got Genghis Khan on a scooter with machine guns on it. Makes no sense at all. Visually, it looked so crazy. I, just, I don't believe it. It looks so dumb. But at the same time, it worked. I said, there you go. Have fun with this. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> it makes no sense at all. But it was action packed. Got a, cool, got a cool little shootout going on on there. And when you got the team dealing with the whole Genghis Khan situation, you got John, John Constantine dying from cancer, lung cancer, save for lung cancer. He's dying real bad because you, you find out that um, Astraea has his, um, I guess you could say life disc or something like that, and she sped up, she sped up the process of, of, of him dying, so, which, which means that he does have cancer. It's just that it's not that bad. It's just like probably, it's probably really small. She sped it up, so... He'll he'll die sooner, and then he'll go to hell. Which, which which the funny part is now that he knows that why didn't he go to a doctor and, and, and stop smoking and then maybe goes to a doctor and get that stuff checked out so he maybe he won't he won't die this time of, of maybe a love cancer but constant kind of thing and you know he's gonna get out of it and you see how you see how he does what he does to people get out of the situation right here I mean you got Ray helping him you also got Gary helping him and well Gary's not doing anything but crying. <laughs> because he's so in, he's in love with Constantine, and so he thinks thinks my who he's in love with is going to die on him. He's just freaking him out, and you got Ray trying to be there for him, help him the best way he can. And, and you see him struggling with that situation. So you got the whole gang going after Genghis Khan, trying to stop him, and you had the whole situation going on with John Constantine. And the, the, the tone in the show, the show is so weird, so different because the, the whole thing with Genghis Khan is very silly, very light, very fluffy, and then you get the whole thing with John Constantine is very dark and very gritty and it's very scary. You just, oh my God, I don't know what happened to Constantine. Is he, is he really going to die? I mean, no, you're going to get out of it, but at the same time, it's just how bad what is it going to get? Yeah. The whole, the whole supernatural thing going on, on there on, as well. So. Overall, it was a fun episode. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. I really did enjoy the, the characters as, as well. I thought the guy who played Genghis Khan did, did, an, amazing, did an amazing job. He was played by um, Cherry, Terry Chen. And then you found out some more. You found out more about Charlie and her background, and and, and that she's actually is the Fate, which is kind of weird because the Fates are Greek. And she got a British accent, so that's that made no sense at all. But whatever, sure, she's sure, <laughs> sure. So. Overall, great episode. What did you enjoy a lot? This show is a whole lot of fun because it's so silly and so ridiculous. But the thing is, though, they 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 they, they pretty much go for it all out and they they don't hold back. And I, I really do appreciate that. So, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Legend of Tomorrow. If you haven't been watching it, check it out for yourself. Hope you watch it. You will enjoy. It. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, sub up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would have appreciated it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hundred thousand subscribers. I'm on my journey to get there. For all those who have subscribed, I just want to say thank you. Like I always say in my dream of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.